Hello my YouTube friends, it's Richard, founder of shorttermrentalsecrets.com and Airbnb Superhost. Today I'm really excited to uh, take a look at John's listing here. He's a super host and he's paid us to do his Airbnb listing review and I'm hoping to add a ton of value to him and other people that are watching this video. And just as a reminder to the extent that you want to get in the queue, we're taking a waiting list right now. Go ahead and put your name and uh, email address in the link below and get in the queue. We're going to go through these all one at a time. and hopefully add a ton of value to people. So, without further ado, let me remind you, we start with the title, then we take a look at the photos and the order that John has selected, his thumbnail selection, the description, what he says about the unit, uh, the reviews that he's received, and we're playing with the pricing to try and get a sense for how that looks. So, the very first thing here is SKI IN, in all caps, RARE, FIND, TWO KING BEDS, BDS, SUPERHOST ACTUAL OWNER in caps. And uh, there's some things I really like here, John, and some things that I think are a little too much. So ski in is awesome. Um, I'm not sure why it's a rare find to find two king beds uh, or two bedrooms. Like I'm not sure what's rare about that. And the super host is the actual owner. Um, that I don't think adds a ton of value because the super host in many cases is the actual owner, like myself. I think what you're trying to differentiate is that this isn't part of like the rental pool or something like that. But when I'm just looking for places to stay, when I'm just looking for places to stay, my buddies and I want to go skiing. I'm not sure I'm really worried about like who owns the property. I'm worried about some of the other things that you've highlighted here, like skiing. Um, and then when we go down into it, you really highlight the location, location, location. So I think that there's some things that I like skiing, um, and I would do something more about that, like skiing, best location, two king beds. Um, something on that order. I would remove um, the BDS isn't really clear and the Superhost actual owner isn't particularly valuable. Don't forget right here we can see the Superhost designation so it's sort of repetitive and you're wasting some really prime opportunity. So work on that a little bit and as I always suggest to people you may not get it on the very first take. Try it a few times, see what resonates with people and keep doing it. You know you can change it as many times as you want. You'll find a better solution. So I think there's some really great things and some room for improvement. I've gone ahead and taken a look at the photos and I'm going to click through them again right now. Okay, John. So, in a nutshell, I think you have some great photos and some actually very poor quality. So, taking the same photos in higher resolution I think would add a lot of value. I love the Photoshop stuff that you're doing up here where you indicate, you know, there's the rec room and the two outdoor hot tubs um, and then the Lincoln Mountain chair. It's a little unclear. I don't know, I guess this isn't your hot tub here and your hot tub is off where you can't see it. Uh, when I click through the, some of the photos, it's evident that you have a drone or access to a drone. So maybe rethink about like shooting the photo from higher and then putting the arrows. But the fact that you're taking these aerial shots and putting uh, arrows to help people understand where you are is amazing. I think that's great. And the other thing that I would point out here is like, here's another shot. It's blurry. Um, it's not, it's not that helpful. And I'm a little confused if here's the condo, is this the chair that I take? Um, or am I walking to the Canyon Lodge? And is there another chair that I'm taking over here? And what is this new village? Like, is that where I want to be? When I see the new village, in my own head, I kind of think like, well, gee, that's where I want my condo. So maybe just remove that because if I've never been to Mammoth and probably a lot of your visitors haven't, they may go you know, to Colorado one year and Utah another year and they want to check out Mammoth and so they're coming here. And so in a perverse way, highlighting the new village may sort of be like a detriment. Um, and if you want to say that you go from the condo to chair seven or the condo to Canyon Lodge, you might just put in little like dots and an arrow to indicate that you walk there. Um, I see over here you've done really well by saying spoil yourself with the three L's only 120 yards from the lift and 200 uh, location, location, location. And that's great. Um, but it's kind of weird to me being a skier that the lodge is here and the closest chairlift is number seven. Like isn't there another chairlift that people ski in and out of the lodge? Uh, but again, I'm nitpicking and what I'm trying to show is that the photo is kind of blurry. Um, in this particular case, I might take a different 
angle of the room if possible because this post here is like really just commanding all of my time and energy. And then again, just being really nitpicky, uh, this front pillow here is the only one that seems to be wrinkled and creased. All the rest look perfect. So shoot it again and take the one photo that's, take a photo with the pillow that's like prominently displayed being neat. And also it's a little odd to have one light on and the other one off. Um, again, not a big deal. And I think that one thing that I'm questioning as I look through the photos is, I guess this is the master bedroom. You might want to highlight that. Instead of saying it's one of two king beds, uh, is this the master bedroom? Is this the one that has privacy? If this was where a couple were staying, is this where they would stay? Because I think the other one is an open loft space. Uh, this looks really nice to me. Um, I'm not sure if this is a working phone or if it's an antique, but it sort of catches my attention and it's a little bit outdated. Uh, while some might think that this fire extinguisher is really um, not helpful, I kind of like that. It shows safety and concern, and that's good. And I've, as, as I've said in other reviews, if you could just put some plates out here, or some placemats, maybe put a bowl of cereal or, I don't know, a glass of wine, something to show this is a nice working kitchen. This is where you can come and have, you know, breakfast. So this is a challenge that I have in one of my ski houses also, which is that, you know, I rent it during the summer and the winter, and I see that you're sprinkling in summer and, and winter photos, and I think that's great. This is something that I think is really cool. I, I think more hosts can be using uh, images of themselves to give it a little bit of personality. The only thing that's a little strange to me is that you say that you won the uh, lottery with your wife too, and she's not present. So if you're going to talk about your wife in the photo, maybe a photo of the three of you would be great. And again, a higher resolution photo. That's a consistent theme. Uh, I love the fact that you're including the mountain and that you highlight the location, location, location. That's great. It's just it loses some meaning to me when it's like blurry and low resolution. So try and take that at a better resolution. Um, again, I would set the table, make it look you know, like it's some place that people want to come and spend some time. I love the shot again, showing you know, all the different seasons. It's blurry though. This is one of your best shots. This is a nice romantic image. I see the fresh snowfall. I see people walking. This is something that we're going to talk about when we talk about your title shot. Um, this shot here, I don't know that I love this air conditioner or heater. It just asks more. It makes me ask more questions than it answers. And um, I don't know that I love the curtains. I'd like to see what's behind there. When I see the curtains drawn, it begs the question for me, like, well, what's he hiding? Um, presumably there's another condo there or some outdoor space, and it might be a little challenging to take the photo with so much light, but I'd like to see what's going on over there. Again, I'd like the way that you sprinkle in recreation and good times and good fun. This photo is incredibly blurry. Um, just take attention to like the quality of the photo. Uh, this is nice in that it shows a drone and the two different um, hot tubs and so on, but I'm not sure that um, you know it, it's that necessary and I would use that drone to do the shot before. This I think is really cool, something that I'm recommending to people all the time. Find one of your best testimonials and put that front and center so that way if people are scrolling through and getting a story, um, you're forcing them to see something that's important to you and not just assuming they're going to get to the review later. Um, this looks really nice and clean and you know inviting. I think I would put some stuff on the, on the coffee table here. Uh, the television looks a little antiquated. You may not be prepared to spend much money, but you know for a few hundred dollars now you can get uh, a really smart television, which I recommend, and then make this whole area just look a little bit more um, lived in and friendly and hospitable right now kind of looks a little bit um, antiquated. Um, this is a really nice romantic photo. I like again that you're trying to mix you know the different seasons. This photo uh, when it's this blurry just really makes me ask like how attentive are you? It just doesn't really add a ton of value. I love the pool table. Why there's no balls or cues or looks like it's being used I'm not really sure. I like the artwork. I like the fact that it's nice and bright and sunny and the fireplace. Um, it's not really clear to me that this isn't part of the condo. I'm looking down here now and I see that it says the rec room. Um, since you're so Photoshop enabled, I might put something here that says rec room located three minutes away and you know whatever the hours of operation are. Because when I just looked at this in reviewing it, I was kind of like, wow, where's this? You know, this looks really great. And it's evident that it's not in your condo. 
snowmobiling devils, again, blurry. Uh, I think you're trying to inject some personality, which I'm a fan of. I don't think this photo you know, does a lot for me personally, but I, I appreciate the effort. I love the fact that you're showing all sorts of outdoor activity and that you're talking about how far it is, 2.9 miles from the condo. That's great. This photo, again, it's, it's, you know, when it's this blurry, it doesn't add any value at all. Uh, try and get a better one, and it's 16 miles away from the condo. I like that. So here's the upstairs pillow top king bed in Alcove. Yes, this condo has two king beds. Um, again, I think that you're emphasizing it plenty, and I get it. Um, I'm not sure how rare that is. It does look like maybe you could put another, you know, some throw pillows on there or whatever. I like the sled. Um, again, it's a little blurry, a little blurry. Um, this is the TV in the downstairs bedroom. Um, I would say that if this has Netflix or Apple TV or streaming stuff, let's highlight that. If it doesn't, you should just go get one of those things. That's how people are watching TV today. This DVD player is sort of like a fax machine. So um, uh, unless you have a collection of movies, then you might want to highlight that. Um, here's a better TV, again a DVD. Let's highlight whether this high quality TV has Netflix or is a smart TV. And this is really cool, this saloon in the ghost town, 59 and a half miles away. It's just really kind of interesting. Um, so I like this, you know, this is a nice sharp image. Um, and the waterfalls. So look, it's really clear that you're taking this photo. I mean, I wouldn't use it. Um, if you can take another photo that's higher res, do it. Otherwise, it's really not adding any value. And same with this one. Again, it's just like this is a great photo with um, personality and your son doing a flip and that's terrific. It needs to be high resolution. This looks like fun and again you're painting a picture that's well done. Uh, this is now like the third or fourth photo of the outdoor pool. Just pick one, uh, probably this one because I like seeing the mountain. And then this one here I think is just great. Again, I suggested maybe using the drone and showing your actual hot tubs. Maybe it's like that photo that you took in the summer from above, but take it in the winter and then put these uh, photoshops. All right, so let's turn to the thumbnail now. And the first thing I want to highlight is the way that Airbnb displays it. You can see they sort of crop it, and so you don't actually see the whole image. Uh, and what you do see is this rec room and two outdoor hot tubs as the arrow. And that isn't what you want to highlight, right? It wants to be consistent with what you're saying in the title. It wants to be like a visual representation of what you're saying in the title. And so the fact that you're ski in, I might take an aerial shot using that drone and show the base of the mountain and where the um, ski in access is or where the chairlift is, but really highlight that location, 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 and not the fact that there's outdoor hot tubs. Because for instance, John, <coughs> you could be 200 miles away from the ski in and have two outdoor hot tubs. And so when I look at this first, before I even read the title, I'm going to say, oh wow, you know, there's two outdoor rec room, outdoor hot tubs in a rec room. And that's not really what we want to show. So I think I would reshoot this and I would try and show the proximity to the slope, which is why most of the people are there renting it. And I would be curious, maybe you could leave a comment for all of us, whether you rent most of your revenue comes in the winter or in the summer. I have some ski uh, homes and it turns out that as much as I like to ski there and that's what drew me to the area, that our summer business is as strong if not stronger. And so if that's something that you see, then you may want to change the order of your photos and the thumbnail and so on um, to maximize your revenue during the summer and or do something that I've recommended in the past too, which is just rotate them. So when you're taking summer bookings, let's say in the spring, have it all be summer, 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 summer. And then when summer season is over and you're going into the fall, like now it's October, um, you start putting in your winter photos. And you know, this is a business, so there's as much time as you invest, you're gonna get the returns. If you do that photo and you highlight the photo for the location as opposed to the hot tubs, I think you're gonna get more bookings. And if you wanna experiment with something, I think this photo here is actually very uh, idealistic and romantic and sort of shows that ski lifestyle. Try that if you can't take that other photo that I was taking. Okay, John, let's turn to the description. And this is a really fine line and it's challenging for me to explain what I'm gonna try and attempt to explain. 
and please don't take it the wrong way or take it personally. But it's really clear to me that you love what you're doing and that you're a super host and you're a proud owner and this is your home away from home and that you take pride in all this and so on and that's fabulous. However, there is such a thing as like overkill and overdoing it and, and being too enthusiastic and it might actually repel people. Like some people may want to come here and be left alone. And I know that you are able to do that. You say as much or as little as you want. But when I read the amount of excitement and energy and enthusiasm and marketing and sales and advertising and excitement that's going into this, I might just actually want a more anonymous sort of like vacation. And so the things that you're highlighting, while they're great about the fact that you're the owner and not the manager um, and that you're, you know, you need to have the person contact you before to go over the rules and again I appreciate all that it's it's almost like too much so if you can figure out a way to like turn it down a little bit that I would recommend and I think you'll find it to be helpful I love the fact that you talk about huge and some of the things that I'm talking about here is like all these use of caps um, people people get it they don't need all this caps I'm not a huge fan of like the dollar sign or the cues in these words uh, I'm not sure what the, the point is, um, but this is a time where you're trying to be professional and show your excitement and enthusiasm without overburdening people and without being cute. Just tell it like it is. Pretend like you were talking to a friend and just tell them what it is. And don't try and sell somebody and don't try and overmarket it. Uh, don't try and put caps on everything. Don't put exclamation points everywhere. Um, you don't have to say it's awesome and it's unique and it's an understatement and it's unique and it's truly unique I mean like we get it it's almost like you're trying too hard uh, this paragraph here I don't think is helpful at all sure there's less expen expensive places to stay but if you want great value let's just not go to that at all we're selling our place we're not talking about other places um, and I, I appreciate the fact that you're trying to humbly suggest staying right on the slope but Again, it's like, it's too much. I know your time is limited and it'll save you lots of time. I think if you just talk about how um, you use it, you know, I selected this place because my time is valuable and I wanted to have my son be able to walk to the lift or whatever it is, right? Instead of talking about all these different things about time and, and so on, just say, here's why I selected it. I think you'll find it comfortable too. And I think this is a great um, sentence here. My family uses this condo often, so it's set up as our vacation home, not set up as a rental. But with, with the capitals and the vacation and the rental, again, it seems like it's too much effort. Um, so you say the home away from home multiple times and people treat it as their own. I think that's great. I just don't want it to be too much. And then for winter, I have the three L's, location, location, location. I think that's terrific. And this is where I'm talking about, like, selling too much and maybe being uh, too present. You know, I understand that I have access to you and that you're an expert in the area and I will work for you and tips and tricks and insider secrets. But how about let's tone that down a little bit and say I can be helpful, I'm available, I can save you a lot of time and energy, but just doing it in, in a more respectful fashion. Dining is misspelled here. Um, Let's see, and I love the fact that you write, you know, that's from your family. Everything including 24-7 access to me, once again, I know you're trying to be helpful, but it's, it's too much. It's almost like I feel like you're going to be spying on me and not just there helping me. I take your vacation and limited vacation time very seriously in all caps. Um, at this point, I'm starting to get a little concerned, right? Uh, the entire condo and common areas include the heated pool, which is in the summer only. Please note that the rec room is not part of my condo. It's shared common space. Um, so that's good to know. And then here's uh, what I was talking about. As little or as much interaction as you want. I'm only a phone call away or a text away. I'll do everything in my power to ensure that your friends and family, like, I get it. I, I know that you're present and that you care a lot and that this is your home, but it's it's too much. It's almost like, um, you know, sometimes people just want to go and check into a hotel room and have a great vacation and, and not do that. And I know you said that you won't be there 
as much as possible, but I will talk to you on the phone or in person if you prefer, and if possible, before your trip. I, I think you're trying to be a super host and getting in your own way. I think there's a element of sort of like professional courtesy and respect and like a, a real super host is kind of like a, a bartender I've heard when they know who to talk to and how much to talk or whether the person wants to talk or not talk and you need to sort of read that line you can't really put it in the writing and so I would encourage you to like rewrite this a little bit spell pr things properly reduce the number of caps on everything reduce the exclamation points reduce the uh, overkill and the redundancy about truly unique and unique and we care and so on I think it actually gets lost and does some does yourself a little bit of damage even though the sentiment is great and I absolutely love the enthusiasm I just want to see you you know put it in in writing in a way that actually does what you want it to do um, this is important here that uh, the Canyon Lodge is a ski lodge it's right next to my condo and it closes on Easter Sunday. I think that's good. Um, you can take a free shuttle. The distance is about 2.9. Uh, again, this is a misspelling. Which lifts are running. And then this point here I think is really important and, and you sort of gloss over it, which is that you seem to be legally operating in the town of Mammoth and they charge 14%. And so what I would say is something like, my condo abides by all the mammoth rules and accordingly we collect and pass on the transient tax and so on and you're you know you're contributing to that properly one thing i note here is that you say that uh, you sometimes have pets i guess um, but you don't allow pets and that's a little bit confusing i'm not sure what that really means uh, extra people no charge i think that's a mistake i think that's revenue that you could collect make this for say four people and then charge ten dollars per person for every other person that stays there the cleaning fee I think is probably okay maybe a little bit small I'm not sure I mean it looks like you could have how many people here eight people six guests okay so I would charge for four people and then charge you know ten dollars per person more and the cleaning fee might be a little bit more than that but I'm not sure how we get to six people when I've got two in a king bed, two in a sofa bed, that's four, two more in a king bed, that's six, and two bunk beds, that's eight. So, you know, maybe don't highlight this sofa bed if you don't want people staying there. I like the house rules. And once again, you know, we're, we're highlighting the home away from home and we've got all sorts of caps. Um, and I just, I'm not 100% sure that that is sort of consistent with the professionalism that we're seeing on Airbnb today. You know, maybe when Airbnb was younger, and I think you started hosting in three, four years ago, um, and you're doing really well because you've got great reviews and so on. But I think that there's been a professionalism. Airbnb hosting is moving towards the hotel space as the hotel space is moving towards Airbnb, and these you know cues in the looking and all the caps and stuff and super duper and stuff like that. You know, you wouldn't see that being marketed by a Four Seasons Hotel. And not that somebody staying at your place is looking for a Four Seasons Hotel, but they're likely looking at 10 other Airbnb people, and they might be modeled more after a more professional, discreet uh, place, and that might resonate more. Strict cancellation, I think, is great. Um, I don't know if I believe in the three-night minimum stay, but that's a personal decision. I generally think two nights is better because I'd rather book that than not um, and then I see here during the holiday period you have a four night minimum stay so I think that the description is good I think it's thorough I think your excitement and energy is evident perhaps too evident and I think um, if you just tone it down a little bit you probably do yourself uh, a favor let's turn to the reviews and John you're clearly doing what you're doing really well. You've got 40 reviews, five stars across the board. People are clearly staying there in the summer, so I'm answering my own question about when you're booking. Maybe they're not staying you know, every week, but you are generating revenue, so you've got at least two seasons. Your busy season looks like it's coming up into the winter, and that's great. Um, and you know, the one thing I would say is you're not responding to the reviews, and I highly recommend that. It's so quick and easy. Just go in there and say, you know, thanks, Wendy. Really appreciate your comments. I'm so glad you had an amazing weekend. 
hope to see you next year. That sort of thing. Just little things and change them. Don't cut and paste. Don't use a template. Just make them all personal. Just like these are all personal. Your responses should be personal. And then when people look at these reviews, they're like, oh, wow, John really is a super host and he is involved and he knows his guests and he's taking the time to comment. So really quick and easy thing, but I think it adds a lot of value. Now let's turn to your pricing. $171 per night for two bedroom ski in condo to me seems inexpensive. Uh, let's see what your bookings look like. So I can see November and December. I'm surprised that you don't have a little bit more bookings in December. January looks like it's completely either sold out or blocked. Um, maybe it's sold out. That's weird that you have a Friday and a Saturday. Um, February is completely sold out. March is completely sold out. And I would say that you had blocked them all, but you know, April is completely sold out. May is completely sold out. So this tells me one of two things, John, and I don't know. Maybe you can leave a comment. Either you're blocking your calendar and you're using your condo as a vacation home a lot and it's not available for Airbnb rental a lot, or you're completely sold out six months in advance, which tells me you're charging way too little and there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of r profit. Uh, I also wonder if you're using dynamic pricing. It's hard for me to tell because there's no dates available. Uh, so my guess is that you're not. That's something that you might want to play with if it's available in your area. As you know, I recommend Beyond Pricing. So, you know, I think based on what I'm seeing here that you have the ability to monetize this a lot more if you use it less or if you increase your prices. But I think this is a terrific opportunity for you. I love the fact that you're a super host. I love the fact that you enjoy doing what you're doing. I think your photos are awesome. You paint a great picture. I think your description is filled with energy and excitement. Sorry if I sound a little bit harsh, but like when I'm reading it, I'm just kind of like, somebody's going to be turned off by it. And you don't want anybody turned off by your description, especially with what you're saying. It's just so positive and enthusiastic. We just need to turn it down. It's kind of like if you've ever seen a, a commercial where like the guy's trying too hard to sell you and you're just like, ooh, I don't know. I feel like you're trying too hard to sell me and you're highlighting how great a host you are, which is terrific, but let's highlight like the location and what people can do and how they can use your space and so on. And I think you're going to get a lot more value for, you know, people booking. In short, look, you're doing a great job. 45 star reviews, blocked calendar or full calendar. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing. These minor tweaks, I think will improve your business, generate more revenue. And if other people watching this video have suggestions or questions for John, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. To the extent that you would like your Airbnb listing reviewed, please go ahead and uh, click on the link below and we'll get to you. We'll put you on the waiting list. In the meantime, I'm going to say, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, I'm trying to get to my 5,000 goal and every subscriber helps get there. We're so close to hitting my goal. Thanks so very much. Happy hosting. Have a great day.